Hey, everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Always exciting to be back. Today, we're tackling a topic that's both kind of mind-blowing and a little bit unsettling, yeah, right? You could say that. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. AI. It's yeah. everywhere, and it's only getting, well... More powerful. More pervasive. Exactly. And to help us make sense of it all, we're diving into this article. Oh, yeah. This one was a good read. How artificial intelligence will shape our future. Should we be afraid? Will it take our jobs? The title alone kind of grabs you, right? I'm just kidding. But it's not all doom and gloom. This article actually does a really good job of presenting both the incredible potential of AI and the very real concerns people have. I think it's that balance that makes this topic so fascinating. Absolutely. So to kick things off, the article jumps right into some real world examples of AI already at work, stuff that's happening right now. Not just sci-fi theory anymore. Right. Like self-driving cars. I mean, that's been talked about forever, yeah. but it's actually becoming a reality. Yeah, we're seeing those on the roads in more and more places. And then you've got AI helping doctors diagnose diseases, like AI analyzing medical images, spotting things that maybe even a trained human eye could miss. That's where the power of data analysis really comes in, right? AI can process such huge amounts of information, see patterns we might not even know to look for. It's almost like having this super-powered assistant working alongside doctors. Okay, but how does this actually work? Is it magic? No, not magic, but pretty impressive tech. So explain it to me like I'm five. Haha. <laughs> okay, so these AI systems, they're trained on massive amounts of data. Yeah. Like thousands and thousands of medical images in this case. Right, so they've seen a ton of examples. Exactly, and through this training process, they learn to recognize patterns. So when they see a new image, they can compare it to all that data they've already processed and say, hey, this looks like something we've seen before. This could be a sign of whatever the condition might be. So it's like AI is developing its own visual intuition. In a way, yeah. Wow. And the more data they analyze, the better they get at it. Right. It's constantly learning and refining its abilities. OK, so AI doctors, self-driving cars. What else is this article diving into? Oh, it gets into some really interesting stuff with finance, too. Oh, yeah. I feel like AI and finance, that's a combo that makes people nervous. For sure. But the article talks about how AI is being used to predict market trends. So like instead of relying on gut feelings or hunches, you've got AI crunching the numbers. Exactly. Analyzing all sorts of financial data, stock prices, economic indicators, the whole shebang, and looking for patterns that might indicate where the market's headed. That sounds incredibly powerful but also potentially risky. Like, what if the AI gets it wrong? What if it triggers a crash or something? I mean, any system can have its flaws, right? Mm -hmm. But the article argues that AI can actually make finance more robust. More robust? How so? By helping us identify and mitigate risks that we might not even be aware of. So it's not just about making money. It's about creating a more stable and resilient system. Exactly. And it's not just about the financial system either. Yeah. The article talks about how AI could help us tackle some of the biggest challenges facing humanity, like climate change. Oh, wow. OK, so we're talking big picture stuff now. Yeah, we're talking about using AI to optimize energy grids, reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, develop new sustainable technologies. It's pretty amazing to think about. OK, so AI is revolutionizing healthcare, shaking up finance, potentially saving the planet. But what about the question that's probably on everyone's mind? Will AI take our jobs? That's the million dollar question, right? In this article, it doesn't shy away from that at all. Nope. It addresses it head on. And what does it say? Like, is the robot apocalypse upon us? Are we all about to be replaced by machines? It's not quite that dramatic. Uh -huh. But the article does acknowledge that AI will likely automate certain tasks, especially mm -hmm. those that are you know, repetitive or require a lot of data crunching. Right. So like factor jobs, data entry, maybe even some customer service role. Exactly. Those are the kinds of jobs that are most vulnerable to automation. So what are we supposed to do? Just sit back and wait for the robots to take over. The article actually has a pretty optimistic take on this. Mm. It emphasizes the importance of education and reskilling. So basically, we need to adapt, right? Mm learn new skills that will be relevant in an AI-driven world. That's the key. And it's not just about technical skills either. Oh, what else is important? Things like critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, adaptability, the things that make us uniquely human. So it's not like AI is going to make us obsolete. Not at all. In fact, the article argues that AI can actually enhance our abilities, make us even more effective in our work. OK, so it's more about collaboration than competition. Then. Exactly. It's about learning to work alongside AI, using it as a tool to augment our own skills and knowledge. 
And you know what I find really encouraging? What's that? The article points out that as AI automates certain tasks, it actually frees us up to focus on more creative, more strategic, more human-centered work. So it's like AI is giving us a chance to reclaim those aspects of our work that we enjoy the most, the things that make us feel fulfilled. That's a really great way to put it. It's almost like AI is pushing us to evolve, to become even more versatile and skilled than ever before. It's definitely a challenge, but I think it's also an exciting opportunity. I think you're right about that. This is fascinating stuff, but we've only just scratched the surface. Oh, there's so much more to dive into. We'll be back soon to explore even more about how AI is already changing the game and what it might mean for our future, so stay tuned.